The Global Canvas Calendar is a great way for both you and your students to keep track of all the activities and assignments with due dates in all of your courses in Canvas. The calendar makes it easy to move events and assignments around by just clicking and dragging. Any assignments with dates, if you change in the calendar, they will also automatically change in the Assignments, Modules, Syllabus, and Grades area. If it's just an event, it'll show just in the calendar and the syllabus, not under the Assignments or Modules. To get to the Canvas calendar, there are two ways you can do that. You can either click on the calendar in the Global Navigation, the most easiest way to do it, or you can click on the View Calendar in the to do sidebar. If you want to go directly into your course calendar, what you can do is click on your course under My Courses, then click on See Course Stream, and then click on View Calendar. And this will turn off any other calendars you have globally and just show this particular course calendar. Now you can also click on the global calendar and limit the calendar view by unclicking some of these courses as well. So there are multiple ways to show a course calendar. In this instance I have one calendar showing for one course. Now if I want to see my personal events as well I simply have to click on that and it becomes a particular color which then corresponds with the same color for these events here in the calendar and then I can click on another one to see some of the uh, blue calendar items that are corresponding to this particular course. And Canvas makes a solid color for events and it makes a rectangular outline for assignments. So that's the difference. The assignments have a date on them and are showing in multiple places, the modules, the syllabus, the calendar, and grades area whereas the events are only showing in the syllabus and the calendar. So to navigate to different months, what you can do is click on the left arrow to go to an earlier month and the right arrow to go to the next month. And then Canvas has a smaller calendar in the uh, top right corner that allows you to navigate to different months and see using this little triangle at the bottom right that there's an event on that day or an assignment. So that's more of a way to see at a glance what events you've got going on for that particular month. Whereas here you can see it in much more detail. You can also see events by week or by month. So a weekly view just gives you a week view and you can click inside of a particular day to create an event for that particular day and it already pre-fills the time slots. Whereas on a month view if you click on a day then it just prefills the date and you have to put in the hours yourself. You also see this little refresh button in case you've made some changes and you want to refresh the calendar. And the plus icon is for creating new events which we'll get to in a minute here. And then the show undated events shows all the events that don't have dates on them. And in this case you can see there's a whole bunch of assignments that don't have dates on them. So they would, they would be showing under undated events. Now if you wanted to move an event around, that's really easy to use as well. All you have to do is click and drag to move the event to another date. So you don't actually have to edit the event. You just simply click and drag it and move it to another date. To edit or delete an event, all you have to do is click on the event itself. And then you see this little pop-up. And then you can click on delete to delete the event and edit to make some edits to that particular event. And notice that the uh, bar here is blue to indicate that that's corresponding to that particular course. It would be pink if it was a different course, that particular course. You can then just type in an hour and then a uh, end time. If you wanted to make the event more information, add more information to the event, click on more options. And that takes you to a text editor just for that particular event so that you can use the rich content formatting bar to add additional information. Once you've added some edits to that particular event, click on update event. And now you can see the event was updated successfully. When you roll over it, you just get to see a couple of details. But when you click on it, you see the 
the actual details for that particular event. So then to create a new assignment from scratch or a new event, you can click on the plus icon and you'll see that you can select from two tabs, either the assignment tab or the event tab. And so if you just want to create an event, then you fill this in with a title, a date, which you can use the date picker. If the date is in the future, simply select another date and then add the times and then select for which course this calendar item is supposed to be part of. And the same goes for assignment. And again, you can pick the course that this assignment is part of. And you'll see the uh, color changing so you know it's uh, part of a different course. And then you can select the assignment group that this particular assignment is part of within that course. And then you also have the option to go to the assignment page to add additional options for that particular assignment. And then click Submit. And as I mentioned earlier, if it's just an event rather than an assignment with due dates, then the event will be colored in full. And because it's not hooked into the gradebook, it therefore will only show in the syllabus. And I'll show you the view of the student point of view of the syllabus. As you can see, because this is not a assignment, it is not in bold, whereas all the assignments are listed in bold. So that's the only difference from the student perspective, where the they look into the syllabus and they can see the events in regular text and the assignments in bold. And both of them have dates assigned to them. And of course, from the student perspective, they can't, they don't have an edit button, so they just see this particular event or activity just listed like this. And then finally, if you wish to put the calendar feed inside of one of your other apps, your calendar apps, say, for example, your Google Calendar or your Outlook Calendar, then what you can do is take the calendar feed for this particular calendar by clicking on Calendar Feed. And then what you want to do is highlight this sentence by double-clicking on it or select all and then right click and click copy and then paste that into your calendar application and each email program with a calendar app would be behave a little bit differently in terms of how you connect or subscribe to your canvas calendar